Today we've chosen to focus on real life examples of calculating impedance of an AC circuit and applying Kirchhoff's current law to an AC circuit using complex numbers. The two important characteristics when performing calculations with sinusoidal currents and voltages are the magnitude, RMS, and the phase angle, and these can be represented effectively by complex numbers. As seen here, the waveform function is represented by a complex number in polar form with an RMS value. This is us a mathematical background slash so basis of complex numbers. There's pretty much two forms in which this occurs, which is rectangular or polar. They can both be represented in an argon diagram where x is the real part and y is the imaginary part. It is it is necessary to know how to transform rectangular to polar and vice versa. This is evident in these equations here. Rectangular form should be used for addition and subtraction and polar form for multiplication and division. Impedances are represented by vectors in AC circuits, which are made up of a real part, resistance, and an imaginary part, reactance. The expressions for impedance for each of the components resistor, capacitor, and inductor are given here, based, and their angles are based upon the relationship between the voltage and current through each component. Phases. Phases are characterized by a magnitude and a phase angle. It is common to represent the magnitude of a phaser as an arrow mass, quantity rather than a peak value. They represent a snapshot of the rotating vectors. They do not carry information about the frequency. The algebraic method of phases can only be used for waveforms with the same frequency. For the first problem, we will use complex numbers to apply Kirchhoff's current law in an AC network. First, we have to convert from time to phaser domain. The amplitude value is multiplied by 1 on root 2 to obtain the RMS value. We then convert from polar to rectangular form to apply the subtraction. We then convert back from rectangular to polar form. And then from phaser to time domain. This gives us a final expression for the current waveform. For the next real world engineering problem, we see a resistor in series with an adapter. And we have to calculate the total impedance. The total impedance can be written as a complex number, with the resistor as the real part and the reactance of the inductor as the imaginary part. This can then be converted to polar form to give the final answer. Mm -hmm.